where you been? Doc, hey, great seeing you out here. Man, after those few adjustments you gave me, I've been feeling fantastic. Thanks a bunch. I really appreciate it. Jerry, that's great to hear, man. You know what, though? We should still get you come in, so that way we can check up on you, make sure those adjustments are still holding, make sure your body's still doing what we needed to do. You know what, Doc? I think what I'll do, I'll just wait till I'm in pain again, and then I'll give you a call. I see this routinely. You know when the best time to get adjusted is? It's not when you're in pain. It's not when you're in crisis. It's not after an accident or an injury or something like that. Granted, those are all very good times to get adjusted. The best time to get adjusted is when you're feeling great. Why? Because if you're feeling great, cool. Let's keep you there. Everybody comes in to see the chiropractor when there's some sort of crisis, right? And we got to dig you out of this hole that you're in. We got to restore function. We got to restore movement into the body, right? We got to take pressure off nerves. We got to take stress and strain off the muscles. And then as we make our adjustments, boom, 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 get you around back up to doing well. What do we want to do? We want to keep you there, right? Because the stuff that brought you in to see me, is probably the same stuff you're going to continue to do after you're done seeing me. You're still going to go out and play rec league. You know, you're still going to play dodgeball. You're still going to go out and play with your kids and wrestle around. And you know, you're still going to go to work. You're still going to go sit in front of the computer for 40 hours a week, things like that. You're going to do the same things over and over that got you into that hole in the first place. So you come in, you're down here. We build you back up. What do we want to do? We want to keep you there. Because otherwise, you come in and you're doing this over and over and over again, right? That cycle's terrible. Nobody wants to be continually brought out of a crisis over and over and over again. Once we get you well, let's keep you there. Somebody comes in, something real bad's going on, and I got to see them two or three times a week at the beginning. Yeah, if we have to dig you out of this rut, that's what it's going to take. Because if we want to make changes to the body, it takes two things, time and repetition. But once we get you good, all we need is just checkups. Some people, it's once every other week. Some people, it's once a month. Some people just really love coming in here, so I see them every week. Whatever works best for you. We work, make it work with your schedule, but more importantly, we make it work with your activities, with your life, what your life demands of you, what your life demands of your body. Because again, once we get you well, we want to keep you there. Because there's inevitably stuff that's going to happen again that's going to kind of knock you back down. And we'll dig you out of that hole next time. And we'll keep you good again. And there's something else that's going to knock you back down. Because life's always going to be a little bit stressed. It's always going to have little things that come up that kind of knock you down and bring you down a little bit. It's a whole lot easier if you're being knocked down from up here to come back up. Then you have to come up from all the way down here. So, Doc, I'll come in next time I'm in crisis. I'll help you. I'd be glad to. But it'd be a whole lot easier on you and on your body if we get you good and then we maintain that.